far so good? That's All very right. cool. Yeah, cool. Let me talk about rock candy real quick. How much time do I have? We don't know? Okay, good. That's fine. 10 minutes. I'll just talk approximately. Are you the timekeeper? <laughs> they have a little clock. <laughs> okay. Um, another uh, new release for this show is a larger rock candy dry glitter. So we launched um, Distress Stickles Rock Candy Dry at Summer in this little jar, and a lot of people thought it was a sample. They're like, oh, is this a sample size jar? I'm like, no, this is it. Um, and that's just because it has so many uses. It does. It's a clear glitter. Uh, it doesn't have any iridescence to it at all like most clear glitters do. It's multiple particle sizes, so this has ultra fine, fine, and chunky glitter in there. But what's great about it is you can cover it on a lot of different things. You can cover woodland trees, you can put it on all sorts of embellishments. Um, but I love the fact that I can take clear glitter and get all of these different colors with it. Now, when I first did this tutorial on my blog last year, I was talking about taking dry rock candy, putting it into a cup, taking alcohol ink, mixing it together, letting it dry, and then you're basically coloring the glitter. So you were making, and if you had a favorite color, you could do that. Like if you really love that color glitter, you could go in and just make up a batch of it. But what this is, is this is basically just taking a surface, sealing it with gesso first, gesso or acrylic paint, as long as it's sealed, and go in and apply multi-medium, or whatever glue you like to use, put your rock candy on and let it dry. So this is our rock candy surface. And to get these colors, all you do is actually go and alcohol ink over the top of it. So, yeah. And we just learned that when we had to make 350 Eiffel Towers for the ideology making tank. That's really how we did it. Because the first thing I did was mix a giant bowl of black glitter. I'm like, this is going to suck. If I have to make all these bowls of glitter. It was ridiculous. I'm like, it's crazy. It's your timer. Yeah, and then Paula just said, okay, thanks. And then Paula said, you know, one of those why don't you just alcohol ink over the top of it? And I was like, why that Who work? Said, oh, Paula. Paula oh. I'm like, why that work? She's like, try it. Because I'm serious. I'm in a mixing bowl. Just like, <laughs> oh, it was awful. Yeah. So we did. And, you know, when you first alcohol ink it, it doesn't really oh, look good. Oh. It doesn't look like um, how it's going to dry. It kind of dulls it down. But as the alcohol flashes away, that's where you see that sparkle again. Mm. So that really opened up a, a whole nother aha moment. In other words, I was thinking like around the holidays, you take just clear glass ornaments, cover them with glue, cover them with rock candy, so now they're just glittered ornaments, and now you can drip your alcohol inks all around it because you could still use blending solution because blending solution is going to react the same way it would on, a, on gloss paper or anything else, and now you would have this ornament or whatever object with all these different colors of glitter kind of swirled together. People are like, how'd you get all those colors of glitter in there? So, yeah. So by alcohol inking later, it was. It was that aha, like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's so cool. And you really get to control the intensity because if you want more color, you can just put more ink over the top it's, of it. I know. It's funny how that's right? Yeah, how it is. Times? Yeah, how many times did I do a whole blog of like, oh, you mix it, and how many jars of glitter do you have that you've already colored? Uh, five or six. <laughs> And we've still got them lined up there. <laughs> They're neat looking. But they are. Yeah, yeah, and that's not to say, like, if you really love a color so, glitter, oh, I would still mix it back. <laughs> and that's kind of the benefit of this, is that, you you know, you have enough that you can mix some colors and you can still leave it clear and all of that. But this is one that a lot of people are, you know, this is what Alan would call a no-brainer. Right.